Uh, what's going on, guys? Cinematic. I just got home. Eating the rest of this cheeseburger. Cheeseburger! I talk to him. Today, people. Alright. So, I don't know. I do a lot of random shit on my channel, so... I figured I was going to do a vlog. And, uh... First thing I'm going to get out the way is... <clears throat> I decided to... Um, you know, make some videos on some topics that most people don't like to talk about because they're scared that people are going to disagree with them or whatever, you know, whatever the case may be. So I made a video about God, you know, what I thought about religion, God, and all that kind of stuff. And uh, I thought, you know, eh, just be interesting. People will want to watch it, comment on it. And it only got like 100 views, a couple comments. That's beside the point it's it's relevant kind of except for then I went and looked at another video I put out the day before it and it is Yu-Gi-Oh the greatest card ever made stupid video just me making fun of like you know a stupid card and um it got like 500 views so I'm thinking to myself like Yu-Gi-Oh's god like <laughs> it's just funny to me I could post the stupidest video in the world and people want to view it. But then more serious videos, people are like, I ain't got time for that. Or whatever. So I'm eating while I'm talking. But, you know, I used to live stream and people, I'd have more people viewing me eat food than actually playing games. Like when the game started, I'd be like, yeah, I'm done with this cheeseburger, I'm going to start the game. Like, my view count would drop in half. Motherfuckers would be like, motherfuckers done eating. Time to go. But, um, anyway, like I said, we're on some random shit. Um, what was I gonna say? I had some random shit flowing through my head and I wanted to kind of get it out the way. Um, back to the Yu Gi Oh thing real quick before we move into something else. Um, I noticed that I uploaded like four or five Yu-Gi-Oh videos, and I and I plan to upload like random ass videos, like always. And uh, some of those will happen to be Yu-Gi-Oh type of videos. I actually have an idea for a video that I can't do right now. Um, it's because I don't have the stuff I need to do it. It's not nothing like really extreme. It's really short, actually. Probably like a two or three minute video, kind of like some comedy <laughs> stuff. But I don't have all the items I need to do it. But um, anyways. Since I started uploading the Yu-Gi-Oh videos, actually since I started uploading again, I've lost like a hundred and something subscribers. I don't really care anymore. I know that you guys that want to watch my video are going to stick around. It's kind of frustrating that um, I'm still getting messages like, your videos aren't showing up in my sub box, or hey, when are you going to post a video? When I actually start posting videos again, then people start messaging me, you going to post any more videos? I haven't seen one in like three months, and I'm like, yeah, I've been posting them all week, but... Anyways, YouTube, I know a lot about YouTube, and at the same time, there's a lot of shit that I can't figure out. Like, I'm telling you guys, like, I can post a certain video up, gain two or three hundred subs, and then the next week, post a video up, lose 80. Um, or I can post, like, four or five different videos up and lose 10 a day, 20 a day, like, it's so weird. I guess I guess what I'm saying with that is kind of goes back to I know a lot about YouTube. You know, a lot of people post the same fucking video over and over and over. And I know you guys know some of the people that I'm talking about. Some of you guys probably watch some of the people that I talk about. They just post like, like said they play Call of Duty. They'll post the same Call of Duty type of video up like 17 swarms over and over and over and over and over. Their commentaries will be along the same topics. They'll either talk... Like, there's people that play Call of Duty and only talk about Call of Duty. And their channels just keep growing. Why? Because people like repetitive stuff. Like, I guess. Um, the only person I can think of... And his channel I don't think is growing like it used to. And I don't think he's getting the views it used to. Maybe I should have went and checked before I was talking about this book. The only person off the top of my head that I can think of that does a lot of different types of videos 
and was successful with it. I don't know if he's still really successful doing it. Is P-Bat. And I haven't watched, I, I think I've seen one video in like a couple months, but but I do look at my subscriptions and I see that he's posting up like four or five, six different games. And actually none of them are Call of Duty, I don't think so. Um, but anyways, you know, like, I've noticed that for the most part, people just want the same thing over and over and over. Hold on, what do you want? Let them just been busy with you. Go on. Dog don't want you bothering him. But... I can't bring myself to do that. I can't be the type of person that just says, I'm going to do the exact same video over and over and over. Now, I might do some repetitious stuff. Like like I said, I'm going to do some uh, multiple Yu-Gi-Oh videos. Just like I used to do Call of Duty. But even when I did Call of Duty all the time, you might see a Call of Duty video every day, but you're going to see something else pop up in there, like a vlog, a news video, something stupid. Because um, I just can't do the same thing. I can't do it. And I think that's another problem that I'm having right now. So we're going to another topic. We're going to another topic. My job is really, really irritating me right now. Like, I've literally wanted to quit like two or three days now. Just go in and be like, fuck you, I quit. But I'm not going to do that because I need the money. So I will plan to start. Um, oh, I lit the cigarette yet. I got a corn dog in there. Um, I will start looking for you guys soon. Ugh, thrust it in you. But, um, yeah, so basically, uh, I'm just going to talk about some of the things that is irritating me about my job. For one, <coughs> I, I just don't like the way that things are ran. And I feel like my, uh, well, at least one of my bosses has a attitude every day. And I just don't feel like if you are running a business, or if you're a manager at a business, that you should have an attitude every day. It, it just doesn't work. It brings down, I'm going to say, morale. The morale of your employees. They don't want to come into work and listen to you bitch every day and be in a fucked up mood or whatever. But that happens almost every day that I work with one of my managers. And then the other manager that does my schedule, every time I've requested off, I am scheduled to work the day I request it off. And now, next week, while I get to stay home and take care of my dogs, my family is going to Florida. Well, I told my job three weeks in advance that I couldn't work any double shifts because that would be too long of a period of time of me being at work and not being able to feed and water my dogs, take them out so they can go to the bathroom, make sure they're not destroying my house, so, therefore, if I only work one shift, I work three three to five hours, and I'll go home. If I work a double, I'll be stuck at work for, like, nine or ten hours. Okay, well, I can't leave animals, my dogs, at the house for nine or ten hours without taking them out to the bathroom. They're going to piss and shit in my house without feeding and watering them because they're going to go through whatever food and water I give them by that time. And, like I said, I have one of them still a puppy, and she will chew shit up if I leave her for more than four or five hours. Every time I've left her for more than three or four hours, she's tried to chew something up. Now, with her, if it's only going to be for four hours, five hours, I'll put her in her cage. But I'm not going to leave her caged up for that many hours. Um, What else is going on at my job? Oh, man. Something I wanted to kind of touch on. Like, I feel like... I feel like Everyone, sorry, this is a long video too. Everyone in the service industry, or I'm sorry, everyone in the workforce should have to be a server, waiter, whatever you want to call them, for a month. Sometime throughout their career, they should have to do that job because they would realize that we only work, I mean, we basically do that job for tips. That's where our money comes from. Like, I'm just going to break this down for you. Where I live and almost everywhere I know of, personally, servers start out at $2.15 an hour. Servers have been starting out at two fifteen an hour for about 20-something years. They don't raise 
Now, there's certain jobs where they say you make $4 an hour and shit like that. But they haven't raised what servers make. So, basically, okay, here's something else I'm going to touch on before I go into the money thing. Um, we also have hostesses, right? They greet the people at the door, put them on their table, and then... Some jobs have busboys, but, like, the place I work does not have a busboy. So, what they do is, the host is supposed to come to the table, and, um, after you pre-bust it all off, they're supposed to pick up the glasses, maybe the bread basket, wipe it down and reset it up, right? Um, and then we tip them out, out of our money, 1.5% of all of our sales, all right, so so we got all that out of the way, right? So check this out. A lot of people lately, the, over the past month and a half, been coming in, and they leave ten percent or less as the tip. So I want to break that down for you. So say their bill is sixty bucks, and they leave ten percent. They leave six dollars on sixty bucks, right? Then one point five percent of that, which would be Oh man, I don't like math. Six dollars would be one percent, so nine dollars. Or I am tripping. Um, Sixty cents, so ninety cents. So ninety cents comes away from that. <clears throat> so then I'm looking at five dollars and ten cents, right? That I that I made off of that table. So what I'm getting at is, all right. So say I have it's sixty dollars, depending on what they ordered, could be a little bit of food or a lot of food. If it was two adults and two children, and then they had dessert and whatever, you know what I mean? That's all the stuff I got to bring out, bring in, bring out, uh, take the dishes back for it, yada, yada, yada. So anyways, so say you get, the another thing about my job is I'm not getting but about five to eight tables on average per shift. So we're just going to go all out. I know this is the thing. Some people leave $3. Some people are leaving $2, $5, $8, whatever, right? So we're just going to average it out. And it doesn't always work like this. We're going to say we get a couple tables with big tickets. And we get seven tables in four hours, right? Let's we'll say we get eight tables. Eight tables in four hours. That's two tables an hour. And yes, it is that bad where I work at right now. And, uh... Every one of them leaves five bucks. That's forty bucks minus minus my sales. Say I had four hundred in sales, um, so that'd be four six dollars. I have to give the, the the hostess. So so that would make me thirty four dollars. Thirty four dollars for all that work. Um, I don't know if you guys understand where I'm getting at. Like. I just, I just feel like that everyone should have a serving job so you guys can feel... Like, everyone thinks that, what are they doing? They just take my order and they uh, bring my food. Like, they don't work hard. Honestly, my job is hard as fuck. The only reason I do it, the only reason I do it is because I get money every day. I don't have to wait a week for a check every time. So if I really needed a pack of cigarettes, or... I know everybody always says, oh, let's quit smoking some X and we won't even go with it. Say I ran out of groceries. Right? Say it's Tuesday and I'm out of groceries and I need to feed my family. Well, if I go to work that night, when I get home, I can feed my family. Whether I get twenty, thirty dollars in tips or forty dollars in tips or whatever, I can micromanage that and say, Alright, I made fifty bucks, so I can go get McDonald's for twenty five because I got two kids and a wife. You get McDonald's for twenty, twenty five bucks or I only made $25, so I can go to Walmart and pick up some groceries and we can eat tonight. Like, that's why I like my job, because I can get paid almost every day. At least every day I work. But, I don't know, like, it, it's, it's, a, it's a tough job. It is mentally straining. Think about when you go out to eat, the experience you have with the waiter, right? Um, and then if you pay attention to your surroundings, you'll see other people have different experiences. There's a lot of different types of people you have to deal with. Uh, people that are already in a bad mood when they come in. You have to deal with picky people. You have to deal with uh, the really, really nice people that don't tip. You know, there are there are some people that are so nice to you and don't tip for shit. 
and that's why they're so nice to you. And then there are other people that are just generally nice, but, but what I'm saying is you have to deal with all types of different people. Um, they're, it's really bad. Like, okay, like, and I'm just going to go ahead and break this down for a lot of people. Because a lot of people think that, think that this stuff doesn't really exist, but it really does. You have, on both sides of the field, from the server to the customer, all right, a lot of times, you have people that don't want to wait on foreign people because they say they don't tip, or black people because they say they don't tip. But then on the other hand, you got somebody like me that I, I treat everyone the same. I don't care if they're black, white, Chinese, uh, Middle Eastern, or whatever. If they come and sit down at a table, I'm going to take care of them like I'm going to take care of that rich-looking table. Because to me... The tip is the tip. Like, if you're tipping me good and you're tipping me good, I don't care what you look like. I don't care how you're dressed. But but this is the, but this is the thing. Like, a lot of people know, a lot of, a, lot of, a lot of black people that I know automatically know that servers think this way. Like, oh, they're going to give us bad service because we're black or because we're Chinese and they don't think we're going to tip. So they're probably not going to take as good a care of us. So you see what I'm saying? Like, there's a lot of things going on in the restaurant. Um, you got some black people that, that feel like, you're going to not treat them right because you know they don't think you know, or the server doesn't think that they're going to get a good tip. And I, and, and trust me, uh, th this is true in some cases. I've seen it happen. I've seen people say Psh, they can wait for their refill because not, not at the job I work at right now. I'm just going to clarify that I've worked at a lot of restaurants. So, but I have seen this in the past. Um, or you know, uh, I've seen white people that come in like um, uh, what do you like hillbilly looking people and not not cowboy hat and shit. I'm talking about like, you know, the the white guy that comes in, just got off work. He could be a construction worker or something, but he comes in in a dirty ass shirt with the holes in it, because he don't give a fuck. I did it myself. I go out in some raggedy ass clothes sometimes. I don't give a fuck. And, uh, you know, someone sees that guy at the table, they automatically think that guy's poor. He's not gonna tip good. Like, I, these are just some of the things. I just wanted to, like, point out some of the things that I've seen happen that go on in every day. You know, like, I've seen it from all ends. I know black people that tip really well. Better than most white people I know. I know black people that don't tip at all. I know white people that don't tip at all. I know rich looking white people that go out with, you know, $150 pair of shoes, um, nice outfit. I know, I've seen rich people come in, or not not necessarily maybe rich, but, you know, I've seen guys in like full out suits um, driving in a brand new car that don't tip good. So. You never know what you're going to get as a server. You, it's, it's just not all cut and dry. You never know if you're going to get a good tip, a bad tip, or whatever. And uh, it's funny. Uh, my last table tonight, my last table, I'm going to cut this off here in a minute because it's 18 minutes. My last table tonight was, uh, what, what would 90 be, uh, 23? So my last table was five five people. It was uh, four guys and a girl. Uh, three white guys, a white girl, and a black guy. And they were um, all like 22 to 24 years old. They uh, normally people. That's another thing. A lot of people automatically assume young people don't tip. Like if you're in your 20s, they think I ah, I ain't gonna get a tip off that because they're all like just got out of high school, whatever. Um, best tip of the night. And uh, they all tip very well, like 25 to 30 percent, which. Because I'm going to cut this off pretty soon. I'm not going to just keep rambling on about this. But for those of you that are watching, I would say personally, um, a good tip would be about 20% or more. But usually about 20%. Um, if you get uh, a tip chart, it usually starts at 10 or 15% and works its way up. Uh, some places automatically charge at 18% gratuity. Uh, we do not where I work at. Um, but I'd say about 20%. And um, a lot of people say, you know, but but that's that's expensive because the food's expensive. But it's not my fault the food's expensive. It's the restaurants. And the restaurant assumes that I'm going to make a certain amount of money off of tips. And they don't pay me. That's, that's why they only pay me $2 an hour. And it's fucked up. Honestly, I feel like the restaurants are completely, should be completely accountable for this. But, you know... That's how they run their business. So that's how they make their money. They they charge you a ton of money for the food, and they pay us little or nothing to bring it to you, serve it to you, 
you know, clean up your messes, whatever. And then um, they make out like a fat rat. You know what I mean? Like the chicken breast for 12 bucks. I bet you that they probably paid about $2 for that chicken breast. You know, we would probably pay at the grocery store about $5 for that chicken breast. But but they probably paid about $1.50, $2 for that chicken breast. They're making a killing off of that shit. But anyways, I'm kind of losing track of where I'm at right now. We're 20 minutes into this. And I know some of you guys love the long videos. Some of you guys hate them. Uh, maybe we'll pick this discussion up at another time. Maybe we won't. I don't know. Because like I said, everything here on out on YouTube for me is pretty much random. Uh, whatever I feel like doing when I feel like doing it. Um, as you can see, I, like I said, I'm still in work clothes. Still in work clothes. Um, but I'm just going to end it with this because there's a lot of young guys in here. And a lot of tipping comes from how you were raised and what you know. Um, I know people that I'm good friends with that was raised to think that a dollar, two dollar tip was a good tip. So, you know, like I said, everybody's raised different. Uh, for the younger guys out there, if you go out to a restaurant, just know that your server is probably making two dollars an hour. If they've been there for a long time, they might be making three dollars an hour. My sister was working at a place, at, at she works at Hacienda, and before she became, went into management, she was making... See, 14 years on the job, she was making three fifty an hour. That lets you know how they give raises. Five cents, ten cents a year, something like that. Uh, but anyways, alright, so... Just know that the person that's serving your food and getting your refills, especially if you're a... I call them suckers. If you're... And, I'm, and I am one. I do this myself. If you go to a restaurant and you sit down and you drink seven soft drinks, think about how many times you got that person running back to your table just for your soft drinks. Think about if you're at a table full of people like that. But, uh... Just factor all these things in. If you got if you got kids, they're gonna leave a mess probably. Remember that. Like th these are just things that I look at when I go out. Um, my kids, I know they're gonna leave a mess, so I try to clean it up. Try to make sure I leave a good tip uh, for them to have to put up with my kids, because you know my kids used to go in there when they were little. They'd be screaming and shit. Like you know what I mean. Like, um, but just realize that it. Uh, some of you guys growing up might be servers one day, and I'm telling you guys right now, if you're you know. 15, 16 years old, um, and you're getting ready to go to a job, if you can get a job at a restaurant serving, it's not a bad job, especially for that age, because, you know, you're going to need something you can work part-time while you go to school, shit like that. So, it's not bad money if you do it that way, and if you're at the right place. But, I don't know. Just keep that in mind, that, uh, you know, servers do actually do work for their money. They're not just, uh, Guys that come out and say, hey, what would you like to eat? And then that's it. They're done. Like, they bring you your food. They clean up your mess. Um, for those of you who don't know that, that go out to restaurants and eat and don't have anybody in your family as servers, uh, when you leave, they have to sweep up all those crumbs and shit. The straw wrappers, shit you're throwing on the ground. They have to do all that. They do all that. We don't have somebody to come out and sweep the floors. Um, and they have to tip out some wood that comes off and wipes off your table and sits down a fork and a knife so whatever uh it's 23 minutes i'm done rambling on i get another video out soon if you have any kind of topics you want me to discuss anything you want me to talk about leave them in the comments i try to you know sort through comments of the videos and say okay somebody asked me about this blah blah, blah. get some of those done i'm out if you like the video please leave a like tweet it out share it on facebook tell your mama i'm out peace